Facebook digitizes our hands. NASA fires up the most powerful rocket in history and the electric vehicle market powers up. My name is Tommy and this is The Tech Files. Hit subscribe or follow for all the big stories in tech this week. Thanks to our sponsor, Lead Express, guaranteeing the ROI for your next B2B campaign. I know you're busy, let's dive in. Facebook's Reality Labs have provided a glimpse of a wrist-worn AR interface concept which would allow us to more fluidly interact with augmented environments. More specifically, the device uses electromyography or EMG sensors to read and interpret our nerve signals. While still in very early conceptual stages, it's clear immersive, ubiquitous computing is a big part of Facebook's plans for the future. To successfully fend off Microsoft and Google, who both have the same goal, will require big, consistent innovation, which is something the Zuck is not famous for. Look, over the past several years, he's either bought or straight up copied any form of competition. NASA tested its most powerful rocket ever, the Space Launch System, with four RS-25 engines firing for over eight minutes, which is otherwise known as a hot fire test. This is a critical milestone for the agency's Artemis 1 mission, which will send an unmanned Orion spacecraft around the moon and back, and is a precursor to sending humans back to the moon's surface. Now, whether it's satellites, moon camps, or asteroid mining, it's clear the next big economic boom will come from the stars. YouTube is rolling out enhanced features which will automatically detect products within videos and provide e-commerce links, advertising features, and other relevant information, which will, again, add further value to advertisers within Google's network. It must be the fruits from that huge, fast-acting, no-holds-barred investment they made in AI that can spot fake news during 2020. Funny how ad revenue can motivate innovation faster than societal dumpster fires can. Discord, the leading VOIP app, otherwise known as how gamers talk through their headsets, is reportedly putting itself on the market, with Microsoft's name being thrown in the ring as a potential acquirer. The business, valued at over $10 billion, is used by millions of gamers for low latency voice chat and extends to instant messaging, chat rooms, voice and video calls, Xbox Live integration, and the ability to join up to 100 servers simultaneously. With Amazon owning Twitch, this would be a key move that Microsoft could make in the great gaming land grab. Rivian is building its own charging network in the US as it prepares for delivery of its R1T pickup and the R1S sports utility vehicle. Charging stations will be installed along interstates and at popular hiking, mountain biking and kayaking spots to directly appeal to the more adventurous demographic they're targeting. The high-speed DC charger will be capable of up to 140 miles in about 20 minutes. Welcome to the age of marketing by infrastructure. Now car companies don't create ads, they simply install chargers where their customers are. Volvo owner Geely are launching a new brand, Zika, which aims to take on Tesla. The new brand will highly likely be built on Geely's Sustainable Experience Architecture, or SEA platform, an open sourced EV chassis based, announced last year. This is an ambitious project by Geely to push them into the premium category, taking on not only Tesla, but China's own NIO, Xpeng, and Li Auto. And that's a wrap for this week. Big thanks to Granite Bay Capital for their insights. You can catch them on their Substack below. And our sponsor, Lead Express, who can guarantee the results for your next B2B campaign. Click their link below and find out what ROI you can lock in for 2021. My name is Tommy McCubbin. You can find me on futuresandwich.com, on LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. This has been The Tech Files. We'll see you next week.